Hi, this is Brenda. I'm here for part three of the OER workshop. And if you're thinking that there's something different about this recording, you're right. I forgot to hit record in the original workshop on March 5th. <clears throat> so I'm re-recording the first few minutes of this portion of the workshop. Um, this will last about 10 minutes and then you'll go back to the original. So <clears throat> in this portion, we're going to focus on searching for OER. And I'm going to share my screen now. And I'm going to take a look. We're going to be reviewing now the OER subject guide that's available at libguides.hvcc.edu slash OER. This is the compilation of many different resources related to OER that's intended for faculty. Um, and if you take a look at the bottom part of the left-hand navigation bar, there's a link uh, titled Search for OER. And that's what we're going to focus on on this portion of the workshop. Now, there are many, many sources for OER. Many of them have overlap. Um, you can even use Google. There's, there's many different sources. And in this portion of the workshop, though, we're going, to, we're going to focus on five particular sources that we think are especially useful for faculty to get started. And the, the one that I'm going to uh, be reviewing in this portion of the recording is OpenStax. OpenStax is an OER publisher that's based out of Rice University. Um, they're largely grant funded. And this is the source of most, or I should say many, of the OERs that have been adopted here at Hudson Valley. Um, so let's take a look and see what kind of content is available from OpenStax. <clears throat> here we go. So we're going to just look at this by subject. We're going to take a look at what's in their inventory for OER. And let's see what's here. What you'll find, let me just close out all these other windows so you can see the full screen. There's a large number of math related OERs. Um, and many of these have been adopted by our math faculty here at the, at the college. Um, the math department is the leader in OER adoption at this time. So we're really uh, delighted by our math faculty here at the college. Those are uh, listed here, followed by some in science, um, in addition, as you can see, some are in non-English languages. Then there's some in social sciences and uh, the psychology second edition and sociology second edition are also um, adopted by a number of faculty here at the college. And there's a few others as well, business. Um, we have some faculty using those also, one on college success, and there's even some related to high school and some are particularly for AP courses. So the one that, um, what, what I wanted to just uh, share with you about OER in OpenStax is first of all, they can be, um, they're, they're very, uh, they're in a format that can be very traditional. So for example, if we take a look, we're gonna look at the college success, um, the college success textbook right now. These are, um, available for students to use in, um, they can download a PDF. And if we do that, I believe it's a, about a 400 uh, page PDF. They can purchase these from Amazon or at the bookstore. Um, and they typically cost about $40. So if you think of that for some of the math textbooks, um, if you purchase the, a new copy from a traditional publisher, um, the, those probably cost students about a, between $150 and $200. So the OER version uh, from OpenStax costs about between $40 and $50. Um, frankly, most students aren't buying the print. They're just using the, um, they're downloading the PDF and they're using that online. Um, we have many of these available on reserve in print form. And frankly, they don't get used. Um, the traditional ones do because those cost a lot of money, um, but the OER versions don't get used. Students seem very comfortable with the PDF, the online PDF version. Um, so as you can see, this is a 465 page textbook um, that's available and you could scroll through it and use what you'd like. 
Um, what I also want to show you here, give me one second to hide my zoom control so I can see my whole screen. If we go back to the original page that describes how to get the book, I just showed you the download. Um, if we view it online, uh, we'll take a look at this. Um, you can just read this um, here. Let's get rid of this ad. Well, it's not really an ad. It's a promotional part from OpenStax. Um, there's surveys. There's other, um, you know, there's other information on here uh, that's available to faculty and to students. Um, there's a table of contents listed here, and we could just click on, for example, the communicating chapter. Um, there's questions, links to additional resources. You know, it looks like a pretty a typical um, textbook that you that you might find if it's just in electronic version. Um, the other thing that I wanted to point out here is you can get these uh, as an import for your Blackboard course. You could work with DL. The other thing I wanted to show you if we go back to the main page is there are book details. We just looked at those. There's student resources, and for students, they can also download, you know, sort of some excerpts from this that might be about time management, for example. Um, but if you noticed, if I go back, um, if I go back one click to the overview page and click on instructor resources, there is some additional content here that's available uh, just for faculty. Um, I happen to be logged in to my OpenStax account. So you can see here, it says, hi, Brenda. Um, and there are additional resources such as additional PowerPoint slides. There's a test bank and so on. Um, so faculty have those kinds of additional supplemental resources that you might get, uh, you might be accustomed to if you're using a commercial textbook. Um, so that is a little bit about OpenStax. And as I said, um, they are especially strong in math, but they also have um, content in social sciences, in particular economics, the psychology, sociology, and the college success. So um, I wish you luck in um, checking that out. And at this point, I'm going to stop this portion of the recording because it's a, the next section is um, uh, just click on the file for the next portion. Thanks so much.